Welcome to the Colt Moo Liquor Show. Now we got us some Jepson's Malort Liqueur. Producing bottle for Carl Jepson Company, Chicago, USA. It's commonly referred to as the worst tasting liquor in the world. And it comes in at a whopping 35% alcohol by volume. The fabled Jepson's, Carly Ray Jepson's Malort. Call me, baby. Uh, as you can see, Hair Pinkus drank a lot of that. Uh, we drank a bunch. I, well, I drank a bunch last night. He drank night. most of it. I drank a lot, too. Um, thank you. So people say this is disgusting, and, and in theory, it should be disgusting. However, I've really acquired a taste for it. <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, but let, let's not... That's too many spoilers. Let's just get to the tasting. It's... Oh, fuck. What is it? The St. Germain? I think, like the, the elderberry kind of smell. It does, yeah. It, yeah, it has an elderberry sort of smell. Even like a, like, the berry fresh. Like that sort of pungent, yeah, <laughs> bitter, skunky, skunky almost aroma. Uh, I have to say, though, um, to anybody out there that might try this, the smell is very deceiving. It is ve It has a very, very light smell that does not prepare you for what happens when you taste this. Yeah. Uh, alcohol burn and then just overall flavor both are you can't smell them mm, mm -mm. So, especially, especially in this yeah so when you take a shot it's it's gonna fuck up your mouth it, it's gonna be surprising it's it, it, it's gonna be a surprise all right <coughs> so bitter when you first take a shot of it like it, you get what you smell at first, yes. But, like, that first is for, like, a tenth of a second. And then it turns into the rest of it. And it's just, like, eating... Just eat seven grapefruits, but just the rind. That's... So, a while back, I did this challenge. The uh, whole palmello challenge. This is, like, the concentrated flavor of that entire challenge. But, the thing is, is I really love grapefruit. And I love just eating grapefruit as if it was an orange. Uh, no sugar or anything, I just eat the slices. It's delicious to me. And it's got that strong, bitter flavor. I love, like, just pure cranberry juice. No sweetener whatsoever. So Extreme weird. bitterness to it. Uh, this, it, it has those features built right into it. It also gets you drunk. And uh, it does that. I, 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 this has really grown on me, and I'm starting to really like it. I made a drink uh, last night with uh, some soda water and just the Malort and fucking delicious. Let's try this again. Ooh. A little bit of burn. I, I kind of wish there was a version of this that had higher ABV. I think I, uh, that would be very interesting to me. But at 35%, like, there is a little bit of sweetness in there that you'd taste, like, right at the beginning, and then it disappears as soon as that super bitter comes in. Yeah. Oof. But, I mean, it gives it just the lightest bit of syrupiness, not quite like a normal liquor, because it is liqueur. This is a drink <laughs> for drinkers. And maybe not even them. No. <laughs> to me, this is like... Sinar, if Sinar had no sweetness whatsoever. And I, I don't really like Sinar, but to me, Sinar, it's because Sinar is like too sweet. Like, yeah. It's got that bitter, but there's a sweetness, cloying sweetness to it. I don't know. There's, there's got to be like a, a middle ground somewhere. A middle ground. And we think, or I, at least I think, the middle ground is mixing this into a cocktail, much like other uh, aperitifs, which are very bitter. So, where well, why don't you try that out? So tonight, we are making the Colt Moo Malort Fizz. I'm gonna say it's one part Malort. It's fucking Malort. I'm gonna do two parts cranberries cocktails. And then we are going to do three parts uh, Prosecco, but since fuck it, I'm just gonna pour it in there until I say it's good. So there you go, the uh, slightly fizzy Colt Moon Malort Fizz. <laughs> we think the cranberry is really gonna, you know, accentuate the Malort bitter. I've had enough Malort, I just, I'm, I'm not even sure what's going on right now. <laughs> not as much fizz as I think it could use, but, you know. I think it'll be okay. It'll probably be okay. I, th I feel like these flavors go good together, so let's try it out. Hmm. Yeah. It's 
really good. Yeah, not nearly as much fizz as what there should be, but like, it's weird because you can taste the Prosecco on top of all the other flavors. Mm -hmm. They're kind of layered. Uh, that cranberry is doing a great job of hiding the Malort, actually, and the bitterness. You, you might even attribute to, in this drink, the bitterness you'd attribute to the cranberry, honestly. Like, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even assume there's something in there. A little bit more Prosecco. A little bit more Prosecco would yeah. probably be, yeah, fantastic. God damn it, I keep fucking trying to <laughs> suck the juices out of my mustache. The, all the ingredients here have separate sweet and bitter aspects to them, and tartness to them, too. So everything's playing together well. Mm. The story here is that we've been fucked over in the mouths by so many disgusting foods that... <laughs> This Malort really doesn't phase us too much. It's so funny, like, everything that we've seen and uh, the video of Drunkards and Dragons. Yeah, like... dr oh, Drunkards and Dragons has a great video uh, trying this shit, so link right here. Go check it out. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's definitely no uh, herring and mead uh, cocktail. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Don't even... That's <laughs> I'd much rather have Malort, honestly. Oh, yeah, so would I. Jepsen's Malort. If you can find it, I definitely say that's an experience worth having. It'll probably not be a fun experience for you, but hey, you'll have a story. Uh. And on that note, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and uh, thank you for watching. This has been the Cold Liquor Show. Malort. Dirt.